Hey YouTube, Tom with TK Designs here. Welcome back to the channel. This video is a quick tutorial on how to set up Vectric VCAR post processor to allow a delay in the starting of the VFD. The purpose for doing this is to ensure that your spindle spins up to the selected speed setting prior to beginning tool path operations. If you enjoyed the content I produced, please take this moment to smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. Let's get started. First, let's add a machine to the ve to Vectric. We'll start by selecting Machine, search for Machine Online, and then we will select our manufacturer. And in this case, I'm going to use uh, Saint Smart. Use Saint Smart. We will use the Genmitsu series and a Prover XL4030 with a default configuration. We'll click download, answer yes, and we'll see that we have our machine installed. Now what you'll also see is you'll see that you have two post processors that are installed by default. You want to click the plus button next to the configured post processors and figure out which post processor we want to use. In this case, I'm going to scroll down to the Gerbil inch, right click, and click Customize. Now what this does is this puts a post processor at the top with a little pencil icon next to it. You can right click on that and say open file location and here we'll see our post processor. Open that up with notepad and we'll move on down to the section that's called begin spindle on. Under that section you'll see that you have the SM3 command. We're going to enter a new line there and we're going to put in the command in parentheses G04 which is for a dwell move space P15 and close the quotes. This is going to give us a 15 second delay from the time we initiate our job to allow our spindle time to speed up. You can adjust that speed or that dwell speed to whatever level you like. Usually it's going to be between 5 and 15 seconds depending on how quickly your VFD spins up. For me, 15 seconds is a good number. You know, save that file. Go back to Vectric. And we will select that post processor and apply. And then if we look and select our post processor, we can select our Gerbil inch that was modified by us and we're ready to go. So I hope this video helped with your post processor configuration needs for use with your VFD spindle. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful please make sure you hit the like, subscribe and leave a comment if you like. My recommendation for other videos you should watch are right here to the right of your screen. See you next time.